guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I did a tutorial that features all drugstore makeup. So makeup that you can get at Walmart, Target, Rexall, any places like that that are drugstores. And if you'd like to see how I did it, then just keep on watching. To start off this look, I'm going to use my Marcel CC Cream and I'm going to apply that with a damp beauty blender. I'm just going to apply this by doing dabbing motions all over my face. And I know you guys are not going to believe this, but I'm going in with something other than NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm going in with my new Flower Beauty Clickable um, Concealer Pen. And I'm just using that to highlight my face, um, going underneath my eyes, bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead and on my chin. And unfortunately, I couldn't find a cruelty-free beauty blender like Real Techniques at my local drugstore, so I am using my normal beauty blender, but you can pick up the Real Techniques ones or other cruelty-free options from the drugstore as well. And of course, I'm using my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster because I'm pretty obsessed with it, and I'm going to apply that to my cheeks to give me a nice healthy glow. Then I'm going in with another Physicians Formula product. This is the Argan Oil Blush and I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks. And then I'll be moving on to Highlight which is this new Tiki Highlighter I picked up from Hard Candy. You can get it from Walmart and it is so beautiful. Um, Kathleen Lights also uses it on her channel so I thought I would give it a try and I actually really enjoy it. Moving on to my crease shade, I'm going to start with the Hard Candy Naturals palette that I've shown on my channel before. I'm going to apply this into my crease and then blend it out with a firm brush. Now I'm taking the crease shade from my new favorite palette. It's actually from Wet n Wild and I got it at Rexall for like $4. I'm pretty obsessed with it. So I'm taking it and I'm using the crease shade and a crease definer brush and just blending that outward with a firm brush again. And I'm heading in with this gorgeous cream shadow from Flower Beauty and I'm going to apply that all over my lid using fingers and then just blend out any harsh lines. Then I'm going back in with that gorgeous Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and I'm going to take the eyelid shade and apply it on, you guessed it, my eyelid. Then I'm applying the deepest brown shade, which is the definer, right into my outer V and then blending it upward into the crease. Then I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Liquid Liner and creating a cat eye. I've talked about this on my channel before because I do really like the brush and I like how I can apply it so easily. I just really wish that it came in a darker black. So if Physicians Formula is watching this, please make it more black. I feel like I always wear these lashes, but they're the Ardell Wispies and I love them so much. They're cruelty free and they're just perfect. So sorry for the overuse, but I do really, really enjoy these. Then I'm going back in with that deep definer shade and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. First applying it with an angled brush and then I'm going to go in and blend it out any harsh lines. And I'm taking that Flower Beauty shade again and just applying it on the inner corner of my eye and blending it outward with that definer shade. Then I'm going in with my Milani Easy Brow in Blonde. I do like the pencil portion of this, but I do find that it comes off a little red-ish. So you'll see in the video that I am going to fill in my brows with this, but then I do go in with a more gray base shadow to kind of counteract the redness. And this is the shadow from the Hard Candy palette.
then taking the black liner that came in the hard candy palette, I'm just going to line my lower lash line and then also tight line. For my favorite part of the look, I'm going in with this Flower Beauty lipstick and I'm applying that all over my lips using the lipstick tube. The only thing I don't like is the cap doesn't stay on, but the color is quite beautiful. And that's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this and if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe.